This is the weirdest village in the world. Because no red is allowed here. Even if the red grass grows on the ground, it must be plucked immediately. Immediately bury it in the soil and clean it up. Otherwise, a second late will attract terrifying man-eating creatures. In this village, there has always been a frightening legend. Legend has it that there is a red creature in the forest. Red is the forbidden color for monsters. Yellow is a safe color for monsters. The creature set the weird read laws. 1. The village is not allowed to appear red. 2. People in the village must not go out. 3. Someone in the village wants to give them meat when they get married. Otherwise, all the villagers will be killed, and none will be left. But there is always an unexpected thing. Lucius filed an application with the village committee today. He's going out to buy medicine for his mother. The medicine in the village can no longer heal his mother. But the village committee is worried about being slaughtered by evil spirits. Resolutely refused the request of Lucius. But the village chief's daughter was moved by his stubbornness. Still hopelessly in love with him. So she decided to help him. How to help, that is to marry him. She ran to the village chief. Asked her father to allow them to get married. Although she has not confessed. Although Lucius has not agreed. But she thought that, if her father agreed first, Lucius will definitely agree. She is so confident about that. Sure enough, after the village chief agreed, she quickly ran to Lucius. She said she could help him get out of the village. It's hard to say I love you. But Lucius looked at her like a fool. He thought this girl must be seriously mentally ill. The next second, Alice is hiding in the bed and crying. And the next second, Alice is engaged to someone else. It can be seen that the village chief's daughter is so cool. You do not want me. Then I will marry someone else. It's too late for you to regret. But Lucius is not regret at all. Because Lucius loves the blind girl Ivy. Why does Lucius like a blind girl? Because her beauty mesmerized everyone. Even the man Noah in the village is mesmerized. Noah is not afraid of anyone, only Ivy. Because he likes Ivy. But Ivy is not afraid of getting mesmerized. Because Ivy likes Lucius. Are they too in love? Dot isn't the village chief's daughter getting married, they also want to get married. But Noah is not happy. Seeing that Lucius and Ivy are chatting warmly, he embarrassedly took out a bunch of fruit to play with. However, Lucius was horrified when he saw these fruit. This is a red fruit. Aren't Noah afraid of attracting cannibals creatures? Lucius quickly asked Ivy to hide it. And questioned Noah, where did the red fruit come from? But Noah gave a surprising answer. These fruits was brought by Noah from outside the village. What's the situation? Why didn't he get eaten by creatures when he went out? Is it because he is stupid? The creatures worried that it would affect IQ after eating him. Lucius is going to go out and buy medicine for his mother. Because she is seriously ill. So for the first time Lucius sneaked out of the village. As everyone knows, what awaits him will be a lifetime of regret. Yellow can ward off evil spirits. So Lucius dressed in high profile yellow. It is bound to break out of this weird village. Is it really? He just stepped into monster territory. Immediately heard the roar of the monster. Take a look at his calm look. Does it look like you've seen someone you don't want to see? He pretends not to see. However, just at night, the monster was still attracted by Lucius. The sentry at the village vigil saw a red figure flash by. He immediately sounded the alarm. Villagers realized that the monster is coming. All run into the basement to hide. However, only Lucius chose to hide outside. He clearly saw the red monster figure. At this time, the monster is hunting for prey. Seeing that Lucius is going to be the prey, Ivy appeared in time. Hastily hid Lucius in the basement. In the end, the monster did not find any humans. After a few roars, it left hungry. The next morning, every household is marked red by monsters. Obviously, the monster will visit again. The village committee hurriedly threw a large piece of pork on the sacrificial stone to ask for reconciliation with the monster. But are monsters so easy to deal? Late at night, villagers find large quantities of skinned poultry. Obviously, this is another attack from the monster. So the village committee hurriedly held an emergency meeting. Asked who offended the monster's territory. But Lucius refused to admit. Fortunately, Ivy, who knew the inside story, didn't betray him. This tale made until late at night. Everyone is worried that the monster will attack again. In the current crisis, Lucius wanted to cherish the hard one time, so he boldly proposed to Ivy. Fortunately, the blind Ivy not only agreed, but the monster didn't come that night. So the next day, the two tell the villagers the wedding date one by one. Obviously, this includes the village chief's daughter who was rejected by Lucius. I'm getting married with Lucius. At this time, the village chief's daughter felt that she had lost completely. Marry someone she doesn't love. 
Not only was she not angry with Lucius, she was also laughed at by Ivy. When Noah heard about their wedding date, he was about to go crazy. He came over to ask Lucius. Can you not marry Ivy? Lucius said righteously that the moment of disaster should be enjoyed. I let you enjoy the moment. Noah stabbed Lucius in the stomach. Lucius was unconscious on the spot. Ivy almost cried to death when she found out. Just showing off the marriage. Now he's dying. Ivy's father couldn't bear his daughter to wash her face in tears. It is suggested that Ivy walk out of the village to buy medicine to save Lucius. But once she leaves the village, she will meet the monster. At this time, her father actually told a shocking truth. There is no monster around here. Ivy looks suspicious. So her father took her to a warehouse. And let Ivy touch the true face of monster. He told Ivy that the monsters were all pretending to be from the village committee. The purpose is to keep people from leaving the village. No monsters at all. Encourage her to be brave. Go, my brave girl. For this bad love. Before leaving, he also gave an ancestral gold watch for Ivy. Let her use it to buy medicine. It's his own daughter after all. Father is also worried about Ivy's blindness. Specially arranged for two assistants to accompany her. But is there really no monsters outside as her father said? Two men and one girl walk into the woods. And the girl is blind. But even so, she's still much stronger than the two men. They had just entered the depths of the woods. They immediately heard the voice of a beast. The man about 1.8 meters was frightened and ran away on the spot. Only a man left. It's raining. He feels that today is not a good day. Abandoning the blind Ivy, he fled in a hurry. Ivy stayed alone until late at night. The roars were heard all around again. Ivy who lost her vision. Cause her hearing is more developed than ordinary people. It also made her more afraid of screaming. Just like horror movies, what scares you the most is never the pictures, it's always the background music. But the only good thing about being blind is, she's not afraid of the dark night. Because every day is night for her. Wait until the rain stops. Ivy took a wooden stick to guide the blind and move on. But the next second, she fell into the trap with a thud. There are sharp knives in the trap. Luckily she caught the roots on the edge. Ivy just climbed up. A shrill roar suddenly came from nearby. She was scared to pick up rock and smashed in the direction of the sound. But then the sound got closer and closer. Scared Ivy to run around. Unfortunately, she ran to a place where a bright red wild fruit. Red means danger. It is also the forbidden color of the monster in red. Ivy stepped into the territory of the monster. The next second, the man-eating red monster really showed up. What's the situation? Didn't Ivy's father tell her that there were no monsters in the woods? She was running around in fear. Is this a member of the village committee pretending to be? The next second, the monster roars. Ivy is scared to go back the same way. Because there is a trap ahead. Ivy was standing on the edge of the trap. Open her arms to attract the attention of the monster. The monster rushed quickly. Then Ivy quickly dodges. The monster unfortunately caught in the trap. It was stabbed to death by a sharp knife inside. Isn't this Noah who has a crush on Ivy? It turned out that Noah didn't want Ivy to go out to buy medicine. He finally killed the rival in love Lucius. Of course, he hoped Lucius disappear forever. But unfortunately, this time he disappeared. Ivy goes all the way. Then jump over the wall. But oncoming is a policeman. The police questioned how Ivy was near the nature reserve. Ivy didn't say much. Take out the gold watch to ask for medicine. I have to say one more thing. This girl looks unimaginable. Even the hearts of the police are captured. He didn't ask the reason why Ivy appeared in the reserve. He has to help her. Indeed, you can do whatever you want when you look good. If you look normal, you have to be taken to the police station. Watch carefully. There is a figure in the mirror of this medicine cabinet. He is the director of the film Shyamalan. He's very boring. He's looking for a chance to appear in every movie he's directed. Back home. After Ivy got the medicine, she successfully rescued her husband. At the same time, it also cured the stubborn disease of Lucius's mother. But there is one last thing to deal with. That's how to deal with Noah's death. The village committee decided to characterize Noah's death as a monster killed. Continued to fool the young people in the village not to go out. What's the difference between following and then killing someone and then claiming to be a ghost? Not all supernatural murders are an excuse to cover up the truth, right? So why did the village committee make up this monster's lie? Because the members of the village committee are all murderers. The kind of murderer who avenged murder for his relatives. Once they go out, what awaits them will be jail time. They are also worried that their children will be killed when they go out. Monsters are people pretending to be. The scariest thing is humans. 
So the village chief bought this nature reserve and built the fence. No one is allowed to enter. Living a life of isolation, everyone in this fence wants to get out. As everyone knows, the world that goes out is still a layer of walls. Okay, this movie ends here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.